hi guys welcome back or welcome if you're new uh, i'm gonna be getting ready today because i have somewhere to go so i'm not sure exactly what kind of look we're gonna be going for um probably something pretty simple because i'm per usual running behind i hate to be late and yet i'm always behind problem I need to fix. Um, it's a little bit later in the morning, so there are people up, like everybody's up in the house, so if you hear noises, I'm sorry. If anything is terribly offensive, I'll try to remember to cut it out. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it. So I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline crusty top. Better Skin Super Stay Foundation, and this is in the shade. I don't know because I don't know where my lid is. I would assume it's the lightest or the second to lightest one because I usually am. So, just a couple pumps of that. A lot of times. I do um, my eyes first because I don't like fallout to get on my base, but I don't plan on doing anything um, really that's going to leave a lot of fallout, I don't suspect anyway. So yeah, you can see that I'm really pale, but that my face has a lot of redness, so that can make me look like there's no possible way the foundation is the right shade but it is, I promise or it may be a little off but most of them are I've never found a foundation that I thought was a great match to be honest and actually lately I haven't been liking to wear a lot of foundation, but I'm really broke out right now. Uh, I think it's masking, honestly. Like, all along my, like, lower half of my face has just been horrendous. Just constant new breakouts. Which, like, I'm in my 20s, but I've never really gotten rid of acne. I have like hormonal issues, so I'll probably always have acne. But it's been extra crazy lately. Okay, so that's it. Um, it's a lighter, probably medium coverage foundation which I'm fine with I don't like cakiness even when I have stuff that I don't want to be shown like I'm, I'm still not normally wipe my hand off gonna go in with like a super full coverage foundation not normally so I'm gonna go ahead and set that cause I don't think I'm gonna be using any cream products today I do have some but I don't think so, so I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder, and this is in one in one. And I like this one because it has a, I have several powders, but this one has some coverage, so it's gonna help out. I would use the mirror in it, but it's tiny. So, I always focus it down here because this is the worst spot for me. I know most people tell you to like focus the most product in the inner and blend outwards, but that doesn't really work for me. Cause all my acne is like on the perimeter and my redness is really bad on the perimeter, so you know, there's always gonna be makeup rules. Just do whatever works for you. I'm not gonna do my makeup the way someone tells me to do it just because that's what they said. 
when it doesn't work for me. So, I think that's good. Um, normally I might drag it over my eyes too as a base for eyeshadow, but like I said, since we're not really gonna do anything crazy, um, I'm gonna skip that step. So what I'm gonna do next is blush because I watched this girl on TikTok. Uh, I can't think of her name. Elena, or I'll try to link it by below, but she blush contours a lot and I've been really into that. It's where you like place your blush like really high and just kind of sculpt your face that way. I do usually still go in with bronzer because I'm a pale bitch. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have this elf palette with these four different colors. Um, probably we'll mix these three. I'm not gonna really do the pink. That's not my thing. I'm gonna try orangey shade. So I'm picking up on this duo fiber brush from Luxie. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Top it off. And then so yeah, you just place it really high on your cheekbone and blend it up. And I tend to do it pretty heavy. Like if you're thinking like I do tend to do it pretty heavy and then blend out, but it also is just a heavier look and then I take it onto the eye socket as well, just to kind of connect. And this is honestly, it's kind of a, like trust the process thing, but trust me. <laughs> or if you're new here, don't trust me. Just wait and see. <laughs> did clip my hair out of the way, but I don't want to undo. I hate my bangs. They never cooperate with what I'm trying to do. So, if they're even kind of laying, okay. I don't like to squash them. So yeah, just really blend it and diffuse it. And then again, take it over the eye. Which I, if you've seen my makeup step videos before, blush on the eyelids is nothing new for me. It's an easy way to add some color, blush and bronzer to your lid without having to do a full on eye look, but it brings it together for sure. So. I think I'm gonna take a touch of this red color Deepen up the outer perimeter to act as more of a <laughs> contour. I don't want to block you guys, but it's hard to use my camera because I'm, I'm like tempted to come in really close and then. Mm. Good, and now I'm gonna take a bronzer because like I said, I do still use bronzer pretty regularly because I have such a round fat face. And so this is, is actually a face powder. It's the Maybelline, no it's not, it's the L'Oreal <laughs> True Match and it's just in a darker shade. Uh, it's in W7. I found that. A lot of bronzers just I don't end up liking the shade and you can get a lot more options if you just use a darker face powder so again I'll take that in kind of the normal places as well a little lower kind of sculpt it out now if you're somebody who already has a beautiful angular thin sculpted face this might almost it might look crazy on you I don't know and the girl I uh, learned this from she's 
thin, but she has kind of a heart-shaped, like, rounder face, so it works for her. And again... diffuse it out. Okay. And I'm going to take a smaller fan brush and contour my nose. Just to bring a little color to the center of the face. And I do usually your powder brush and just kind of blend it out. Just kind of meld it into the face. I don't have any extra product on here. I'm just kind of buffing it out. Just kind of pat back some brightness right here. If I just like have come in too far with that. Just a little A little bit. I'm gonna go in with my highlighter now. I'm trying not to slam things around. So I'm sorry if it's a little harsh. Um, I'm gonna take it on a similar shape, like dome shaped brush. And just. Okay. <laughs> Pick up. I'm using the champagne one. But there's three shades in here. So you can use whatever shade you like. Whatever works best for your skin tone. And you still just put it where you normally would. Just does a little much. So really high points of the face. Multitasker. I've had this forever. I don't know how there's anything left. Honestly, I was to start with, try to kind of get them in a semi suitable shape. And then I take this, and it's kind of a fat tip. So if you had really thin eyebrows, I don't think this would work for you. But since I have rather thick eyebrows, I'm just kind of trying to fill in the, the gaps. I think it's okay, but um, it's probably not something I'd repurchase if it ever ran out. So yeah, I just try to give them just a little bit more. Uh, you know, they say eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, and I have to live by that motto. I can never get my eyebrows to look the same. One of them's thicker than the other. And I feel like the arch is different on both of them. <laughs> so, I kind of just go with it. I don't really feel like I have much choice. <laughs> if I sit here and try to even them out over and over and over again, they just become cartoonishly large. So, I try to avoid that if at all possible. I'm just determined to go outside the lines today, though. This is just a powder that's in the center, and if you've watched my channel, uh, you can go back to one of my other Get Ready With Me's where I realized that this is in there, and I'm like, genuine. Genuinely, like, did not know that it existed. That is um, intense. It's great. Okay, that's beautiful. Wow. Love that for me. Let's try to buff that out a little bit. Um, yeah, those. 
oopsie daisy like a brown color underneath my eyes just to define them a little more and I do brown because it's just kind of natural and it goes all with my eye color but you can do whatever color you want to kind of amp up the eye look you could use a big fluffy brush and pick up like a gray or not gray like a Like a neutral or ashy brown and just use it to carve out the crease a little bit just a little it's not gonna be anything that's super noticeable but it adds you know just a little bit more shape a little bit more um, definition I'm looking away. I don't have my mirror. You guys have my mirror. So just really, I'm barely touching the skin. Just blending it right above that. So just do that really gently. Let me grab my mirror just to check. Um, let's just see. Let's... Yeah. Just, just really lightly. So slightly. A little eyelash hair or something. Eyebrow hair, maybe. So, yeah, like that. So then I go in with my. weird skinny little plastic brush and I just coat them from top to bottom just got some more hair I have very unimpressive eyelashes I've seen worse like I've seen people who have it worse than me for sure but I've definitely seen way better. And this side is better than this one, which I hate. Do you guys have that? Like with a side that's always better. An eyebrow, an eye, your eyelashes. Like one side is always refusing to cooperate. Ooh. So then I let that chill for a sec. Take like a loose powder and a brush and give your eyes a little bit to a couple seconds to dry. And then gather some loose powder in your brush. You wanna make sure it's like a translucent though, because it's gonna fall out. And then kind of coat the lashes like so <laughs> looks crazy just kind of stamp it on there then grab your brush and just kind of Excess. And then now that I look crazy, put the light back on this. Grab a like a more volumizing mascara. So I'm gonna use the um, cosmetics superhero. So I should probably get a new one, but for the sake of the video. <laughs> and then coat them again. I 
I guess it's kind of the same principle as like um, those mascaras that had like fibers in them. I don't know, do they still make that? Um, but I always hated those. I feel like they would always get in your eye and be really uncomfortable. So, yeah. They, I mean, they're not natural looking like they it gives them some like chunk <laughs> um, sometimes if I feel like I got in a little like goopy I'll go back in with this because the brush is so kind of can separate them back out a little bit I said this eye always looks better because they're longer, they're like longer or something. And this side is like shorter and stubbier. And then I usually just tap. My bottom lashes. Got a little bit of a clump over here. I'm just going to take this and kind of get it out of there. I don't like a lot of bottom mascara because I feel like it just transfers so easily. But I'll flick that away. Okay. So. down. I don't know if you can see it when I look down, but yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like it makes a subtle difference. Maybe it doesn't. Um, so that lastly leaves us with um, lips. And I'm not super into lipstick right now because I just feel like it transfers everywhere like it just leaves my lips so quickly and it drives me fucking bananas <laughs> so I've just been using this L'Oreal lipstick love the color reach in 839 cinnamon toast it's kind of that like 90s brownie color so I just Press that. <laughs> Press some. Got it. <laughs> uh, rub it out. And then I just wear chapstick. This is the Bird's Bees Watermelon Chapstick. Because my lips are always chapped. Okay, so that's it. Um, hair, makeup simple but effective and if I'm not trying to record a video and talk you guys through things I can do this in like less than 10 minutes so it works for me I hope you guys enjoyed it if there's any kind of video that you guys want to see let me know in the comments even if it's like a specific makeup look let me know and I will talk to you guys really soon